Okay, in this video we'll be covering the unboxing of the Hold Peak HP90 EPC Graphing Digital Multimeter. And let's get right to it. Here's a unit. All in all, seems to be a nice unit. Comes with a nice uh, case. Instruction manual, thermal couple, USB to PC cable, and the test leads for the multimeter. This would be banana plugs, the thermal couple, couple for the temperature uh, measurement, comment, and then your connection here. Okay, so USB leads, and your test lead. Nice test leads. I believe they're about three feet in length. The, the case, the storage case, is also very nice. Nicely done. Uh, padded. good zipper to it and uh, I guess a carry handle and a place to put the uh, instruction manual and also I guess some uh, place for for leads or cables with some elastic here It's sort of like a nylon, uh, seems like a waterproof cover, so nice, nice case. The cover seems to be a nice hard rubber uh, covering the uh, outside of, uh, of, the, of the meter. Uh, with a good uh, good thickness to it, uh, the feel of it uh, feels uh, professional, and it feels like it uh, it could actually take a beating. So uh, that's pretty much a five star for the uh, for the packaging, the actual uh, case in the actual case of the meter so so that it's uh it has the feel of uh, of a much more uh, expensive meter and it uh, features a nice stand which is handy a lot of times when you're taking measurements. Uh, 
there's a place here for the for the leads. It also has a uh, PC port, uh, USB under the cover. And you'll need a you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver for that. And there's the. Uh, the uh, USB uh, connection all in all seems like a pretty nice meter uh, especially for the price and it also has a cover for the battery You'll need a small Phillips as well. You try it out and it comes with the battery. It's another nice feature. And one thing I'm noticing, uh, it's a feature that you find only in the uh, expensive multimeters. It's, it has brass inserts where the screws uh, for the threads in the with the screws hold to the case. So that's uh, that's a nice feature because uh, those and also a nice uh, seems like it's um, a weather cover. Nice feature having a uh, the middle inserts. And another nice feature I like about this meter is that I haven't seen actually in other meters. It has a auto backlight. Uh, it actually, you don't have to press a button. It senses the ambient light. And it'll, I don't know if you can see that, it'll actually turn the screen on, turn the backlight, nice green backlight when there's not enough lighting. Very nice feature on this on this meter. So um has the uh, Hertz and uh, duty cycle selectable. When you put it on Hertz, uh, you can select the, the uh, also duty cycle, which is right here actually in this uh, this button, which will uh, select between which, between frequency and duty cycle. That's another nice uh, feature. Has temperature only in Celsius. Uh, I would like to have it in both Fahrenheit and Celsius, but it's minor inconvenience. Uh, to uh, convert to fire and hate if that's what you used to. So um, has a fused 20 amp range, which is nice, and also uh, fused for the rest of the uh, measurements. One thing I uh, found out after the fact, after actually purchasing the meter, I uh, went online and looked at the uh, documentation for it. And something that I wasn't happy, and if you're familiar with uh, my uh, videos, uh, I'm usually on the positive side. I'm a positive uh, guy and usually look at the, at the, at the bright side. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this, uh, in, in the, in the Features that uh, on the on the website it mentioned, 
and just about all the all the sites is the feature in uh, the uh, on the company's page as well. They talk about uh, range somewhere up to um, I believe a thousand degrees Celsius in the uh, or or thereabouts for the temperature range. If you read the uh, manual, the uh, it's it's quite different. They talk about the uh, I guess the meter is capable of uh, that range uh, as as they as advertised, but it seems like the thermocouple that's included here with with the meter the normal thermocouple it's only capable of something like uh, the uh, thermocouple limit here states that is only capable I guess measuring up to 300 Celsius which is something that I needed a uh, higher range than that and this was one of the reasons I, I bought the meter for uh, I was looking for a good range and the temperature and together with with uh, some of the other features that I uh, that I can use and that I did not like I guess that you would have to buy a separate thermocouple uh, with a uh, with a wider range and that wasn't uh, stated in the, uh, in the in the features of the meter so I not happy about that at all um, something else that says uh, it says the states oh I mean I guess you will need a uh, different thermocouple for a higher measurement but it states here uh, please don't change the thermocouple at will otherwise we can't guarantee to measure accuracy uh, that's the way it states it on the uh, On the, I don't know if you can uh, read that on the actual um, instructions. So uh, discrepancy there between the uh, the actual uh, ins instruction manual and the features that are advertised. Um, other than that, it seems like a nice meter. Uh, features of uh, has some features of much more expensive meters so um, all in all I uh, think I'm happy with it uh, for other than that I'm going to be looking for a thermocouple for um, with a higher uh, for, with a wider range uh, one of the things I like to uh, use it for is to measure um, the differences between the temperature at the uh, inlet and outlet of uh, a catalytic converter and uh, I really need to uh, wider range than this than 300 degrees um, the uh, catalytic converters can go quite probably twice or more uh, that maximum uh, uh, on the top of the scale of this meter for, or at least for the thermocouple you say well, for so 300 degrees is just too low for that so uh, other than that seems uh, nice I'll be um, making another video on on testing it and the use of it and uh, so be on the lookout for that and I think that'll be it for this video thanks for watching uh, hopefully this video was helpful and as always Try to stay clean, just try.